forward in the case against a man accused of dumping two women in suitcases along the side of the road. The former West Dallas cop is now charged with homicide. WISN 12 News, Hillary Mintz is live in Kenosha. And Hillary, for the first time, prosecutors there are revealing how the woman was killed. Kathy, this criminal complaint is chilling, and I just want to warn you, some of the details are very graphic, but what it says is that Steven Zelich and Jenny Gomez checked in to this hotel right behind me here. They spent a couple of days together, but only Zelich checked out alive. This is uh, State of Wisconsin versus Stephen Zelich. Only suspected of killing two women up until now, the Kenosha County District Attorney says Stephen Zelich murdered 22 year old Jenny Gomez in August of 2012, then hit her body. Uh, and he does understand these charges and the maximum penalties he is facing? He does. The criminal complaint says Zelich told Kenosha detectives he met Gomez from Oregon online. She flew to Milwaukee, the two drove to Kenosha, and checked into the Comfort Inn, formerly the Quality Inn. Zelich explained during consensual sex, he would control her breathing by tying a rope around her neck. With her hands tied behind her back and a gag in her mouth, Zelich admitted he lost control while choking her, then snuffed her naked body in a suitcase. He brought her body back to his West Dallas apartment where he stored it in his freezer for more than a year. As you can already imagine, I have not agreed with the claim or the spin by the defense attorneys or the defendant arguably that it was accidental. But newly hired defense attorney Jonathan Smith says the death was not intentional. It is something that would require the, the, that they prove that he had the intent to kill uh, or the mental purpose to cause the death or that he was uh, practically certain that his conduct would cause the death. Zealous is being held on $2 million bond. He's due back in court August 15th for his preliminary hearing. If convicted of first degree intentional homicide, he's facing life in prison. And the hotel staff here had no comment because two years ago it was under completely different ownership and management. In Kenosha, Hillary Mins, WISN 12 News.